Hey guys, it's Dominic, Big Wheel. All right, let's see if the service holds out. How are we doing today? Good morning, beautiful day today. And I want to do kind of a quick little rant, I guess you want to call it, uh, in actually regards to a video that I posted yesterday on my page that I shared from New England Reptiles page that I watched and thought it was uh, very important what they were discussing and it kind of uh, it kind of hit something with me, it uh, touched a nerve. And uh, I normally don't get involved in the drama and the bullshit that goes on with the social media and you know, I keep my things very simple. Uh, but when it comes to our rights and what's going on with uh, the legalities, especially, you know, uh, what happened in Florida, with uh, you know uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife, what they did, and they uh, and they got away with uh, with uh, you know with really pushing this agenda with the invasive species and using full science and lying, and actually using corrupt uh, uh, politics to uh, illegalize uh, you know these animals, the iguanas, the tegus, Burmese pythons, and they did it in a very unfair manner without proper science, without uh, giving uh, you know the reptile industry and hobby. Uh, a chance uh, to present their case. Uh, did a really, really shitty way. Uh, so that that's when I do get involved. And and actually, what touched the nerve wasn't so necessarily that with the, with Kevin. Now Jeremy Turgeon, uh, Breastman Reptiles uh, manager of New England Reptile Distributors Nerd, as we know, is a very good friend of mine. I've been up there a few times, and uh, Kevin, uh, you know, very very Kevin McCurley, the owner operator of nerd very involved in what goes on with this because he's very you know these big guys in our industry are very involved with what goes on with this in regards to us sock and being educated and knowing what and, and trying to do something so when they talk i listen you know uh so specifically their video guy nerds video guy donnie he does all like the video content for uh for nerd social media or on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. They put a, uh, a video out the other day and I watched it and it had to do with these certain, you know, with people bringing negative light through social media to bring, you know, to make themselves look good, negative light to our hobby and, and, and negative light in a bad way with lying and falsifying stuff. Uh, so I was very, it was a very interesting video but it seemed that the message, like apparently there are people that are doing videos that have channels and are YouTubers that, and they showed the content and I was blown away by it. Like, so just very simply, they were showing one, one uh, channel where they were actually portraying that they were catching and killing. And first of all, they did it in a very cruel way. Uh, crossbows and bow and arrows, iguana, green iguanas and Burmese pythons. And the Burmese python, they proved, Donnie from Nerd, uh, they proved in the video that these animals, like it was a setup to make it look, you know, extreme. Like, oh my God, like they, they, they took a 17 foot whatever Burmese python out of the sewer and, you know, one showed up in a creek and they crossed, you know, hitting it with a, with a compound bow. I mean, uh, and it was set up and they proved and showed that the snakes were set up. So these people are using these things to set up, to make, give them, you know, to set up these scenarios that make them look like what they're doing and what they, all they're doing is bringing a negative light to, to us and our hobby, to the general public. And they're doing it just to increase their views and, uh, you know, and do their thing. So, uh, that was what they were portraying nerd was showing in this video and that, you know, this is bad and we have to, the reptile industry and the hobby, we have to together, you know, we have to, you know, uh, be against that and, and, you know, and really say that this is bad stuff, you know, that would, this is not good for our hobby. But what had happened was inadvertently, I guess, they got a lot of negative things like people were trashing, you know, people like Brian Barcheck and, and these other guys in Florida, uh, uh, what's his name? Tyler, uh, this Tyler Nolan, who works with a lot of venomous stuff and, and a couple of other YouTubers that are reptile keepers. And there are people like going after them. But meanwhile, these people are not the enemy. These people on our side, they're fighting for our rights. They're very public. They're animal lovers. And these are the people like, so 
people have like a pitchfork against some of these people. Like, you know, I mean, Brian Barcheck from uh, Snake Bites, Animal Bites, BHB Reptiles. I mean, people like, there are, there, are, there are pages about people that hate Brian Barcheck and want to blame him for bringing a negative light to our hobby. Meanwhile, he's one of the biggest guys that fights for our hobby. I mean, you know, and he said himself, I mean, you know, they, they accused him of using clickbait and that the clickbait on his uh, channel is uh, makes us look bad and it presents a negative light. But he explained why there's some of that clickbait stuff to make it look, ooh, what is this? It's to have people log on to his page and log on to his videos who are not necessarily reptile people who don't know about this. I mean, it's one thing to preach to the reptile industry and, and the hobbyists, but it's one thing to get new people. So sometimes the point was that they put those clickbait stuff out there purposely to grab people in and then they're lies and then they get the education education they click on the channel to see oh what's going on big snake blah 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 whatever it is that looks uh kind of uh you know weird i guess or crazy and then his videos are all educational brian's videos are great you know he's got the reptarium he's one these big guys are fighting for our rights and there are people in the hobby that are have their pitchforks pointed at these guys. No. No, no, no. And this is where I get a little pissed off, and hence the reason for this. Uh, what's up, Kevin? The reason for this video is that we have to stick together. We can't be fighting against each other. We can't be fighting against the people in, especially the bigger people in this industry who have a lot more skin involved in this than any of us, who have been doing this a long, long time. Now, you got to remember, I'm keeping snakes for over 30 years and I'm into this. I was in the state when anything you caught came from a pet store. It was wild caught. You, there wasn't really a lot of education on how to take care of these animals. Now everything's very, very easy. But, and the legislation that's gone on where they've tried to take, the government uh, has tried to take away our rights and illegalize. All right, I'm back. There was a little pause in the action. Uh, service isn't that great. So... You know, we have to be on the right side of this together as the ho in, in, in this hobby and industry. These guys, a lot of the big guys are very, very involved. They're in the fight with US Arc. They're very educated as far as what's going on. You know, there were a lot of comments when Kevin and uh, Jeremy and Rob were doing their video yesterday. Like, why does Florida affect us? Who cares? That's a horrible attitude because Florida is like almost like, you know, especially in the hobby, United States, Florida is like the, the Mecca. It's like the ground zero for, the, for this hobby. There's so many breeders so much going on you know and when they pass these laws in florida if they can get away with it especially using these the bad tactics that they're using they can do it anywhere and it scares me to death that my rights could be taken away to keep the animals that i love it scares me to death that they can do that and get away with it so like i said this rant was more for you know listen I do these I do these videos for my customers and people that are on my page. I'm not trying to get out there to the, the world. So I'm just trying to educate my friends, customers, people that enjoy looking at my page and stuff like that to let you know that you have to kind of get involved with this. I know I've done a video about this before. Uh, Kevin and Rob and Jeremy had mentioned that US Arc is putting up gonna, you know, bring a, a lawsuit against Fish and Wildlife in Florida. A huge lawsuit because what they did was uh, come on. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, the service isn't the best where I am, in the area I am in, in, uh, in Connecticut. Uh, I think I'm okay. The car has stopped, so I won't be going in and out. So basically, uh, actually, this video got a little screwed up because I lost my train of thought going in and out of service and having to wait for the service to come back. Uh, but basically, please watch the video that I posted uh, from Nerd because it really sheds a lot of light on what's going on like i said my reason for this is for the people on my page we have to get involved us arc is having a big lawsuit in florida against fish and wildlife for the legislation that was passed uh due to the fact that it wasn't done in a proper way it was done in a very sneaky way uh you know we didn't get a chance as the reptile hobbyists and industry to present our case and why illegalizing these animals does nothing to help what's going on with the pro with the problem there is with invasive a lot of bad shit that uh, I, I, really pisses me off that they got away with this uh so please watch i'd say watch the video that donnie posted in regards to what's going on on youtube and social media 
and really remember who's on our side and who's not on our side. And that was a point that we're trying to make. And we have to really stick together and we have to, you know, put our pitchforks in the right direction at the, the true enemy uh, that's trying to hurt us. And it's not, it's not these big names in our hobby because those guys are actually doing a lot. Even whether you agree with what they post, whether you like, don't like, don't like the clickbait, what they do, uh, these people are fighting. They're on our side. And they were trying to, Kevin and them were trying to make that point. Uh, but, you know, you have to donate to US Arc. They're the ones that are out there fighting. Go on their website. Uh, US Arc, Florida specifically, there is a US Arc Florida because the fight is down there right now. And that fight's very important because it protects the rest of us in our, uh, in, you know, in, in the country. So uh, I, I appreciate you guys watching. The video uh, that I posted is below. It's a little long, but, uh, you know, it's definitely worth watching. There's good info in there and good content. And they and they bring up, they can, you know, more eloquently than I can do uh, to bring up the whole point of what they're were what they trying to do by bringing to light. I mean, there was some horrible stuff out there. There are people in Europe that are doing videos, set up videos. It was, oh, disgusting, where they actually have, they, like, dig a hole and they'll make it look like it's a wild snake. And they put puppies in there. And there was actually a video of a, of a, of a snake constricting a puppy with other puppies there. Uh, a cat. Uh, they had put a snake, a venomous snake with a, a mother chicken with her. I mean, this is, this is abhorrent. And this is the stuff we need to fight against. These are the people that are going to hurt our hobby and hurt our industry. It's, and like I said, these these stupid YouTubers down there or that are taking uh, and, uh, the Burmese pythons out of the wild and using them to set up videos to show, plus the cruelty to the animals. These animals are invasive. They don't belong there. They, You know, for the most part, they're being euthanized, but that doesn't mean these, these animals should be treated badly or killed and treated cruelly and humanely. There's a way to humanely euthanize uh, an invasive species, an invasive animal. You know, not boiling iguanas in, in hot water and uh, and shooting them out of the trees with uh, uh, crossbows and bow and arrows. This is this is not what we're about. But people putting these video and content out there, this is what the people that don't know about snakes, this is what they see and this is what they believe. And they think those people are us. And that's how we are. And it's clearly not. So please take a look at the video that uh, Nerd posted uh, yesterday and also the video that it was about uh, if you can go on to their, uh, you know, you can go on to their page on, you know, New England Reptile Distributors on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, and, uh, you know, let's be on the right side. Let's stick together. Uh, Adam, good friend Adam G. Uh, and also, too, babies are doing great on a positive note. Uh, just a little update. All the babies from our litter are doing great. They all have eaten. Uh, and I have most of them on Frozen. I think there's like two or three uh, that I got to get on Frozen. And in a few weeks, uh, we will start cataloging uh, and posting those animals on our uh, on Morph Market. And we'll share the link on the Facebook page because I can't post for sale anything on Facebook. They don't want that. Uh, and then in two weeks, hopefully the next video you see from me will be in two to three weeks. And Flora, my big Sunglo gal, will be... Uh, having her litter, uh, having her, uh, litter and, and it should be good. It should hopefully big. She's big and she's, this is our third litter. So we're hoping for a lot of good stuff. So stay tuned. We'll keep, keep my page updated as always. Hit me up with any questions, please comments, anything. Uh, thanks for tuning in on this. Uh, hopefully that you guys will, like I said, just look at nerds video that they posted, uh, yesterday and, uh, Support U.S. Sox, support our rights, and like I said, let's not go after each other. Let's let's go after the the, the true enemy and the common enemy, and that is uh, the sens sensationalistic YouTubers who are uh, not in our hobby. They're on the outside of it, and they're trying to make us look bad by making themselves trying to look good. And also, you know, Fish and Wildlife of Florida is not doing us any uh, service. The government down there is they're trying, you know, they they love to take our rights away, and they're fighting to do it and using bad science and lies and uh, corrupt politics to do it, which is terrible. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.